Hey y'all, let's take a look at more on systems of three equations. We've done these before, but they've all had an X and a Y and a Z in each equation. Look at these, they only have two of the three. X and a Y, X and a Z, Y and a Z. How are we gonna solve this? Okay, I've got a method. So copy this down. There are two steps, basically. The first step, of course you can pause, add any two equations and work on eliminating one variable. All right, I'll show you what that means in a second. The second step is, Pair your new equation, which will have two variables, x and a y, or x and a z, or y and a z, with the other equation that has the same variables. You can solve two equations with two variables. That's no big deal, right? Eliminate or substitute or whatever. You got it, okay? So let's make it happen, all right? Let's just say we want to eliminate uh, the x's, all right? So we'll take these two, since they both have x's, and we're gonna rewrite them. So I'll just go ahead and copy the first one down like it already is, 2x plus 3y, equals negative four, okay? Well, to make this into a two x, because we're gonna subtract that then, we'll go ahead and just multiply by two x, right? It's a two x, okay? And then two uh, times negative two z is negative four z, right? And then two times negative three is negative six, okay? So we'll go straight on down here, and we're gonna subtract all the way across. So 2x minus 2x, gone. 3y minus negative 4z is the same thing as 3y plus 4z, all right? And negative 4 minus negative 6 is the same thing as negative 4 plus 6, which is 2. So we have 3y plus 4z equals 2. That's our new equation, okay? Well, since that has a y in it and it has a z in it, look over here and let's use the same uh, this equation over here that has a y in it and a z in it, right? So we could actually take this 2y minus z. We can do substitution if you want to. So we'll have a negative z is equal to 2y over there is negative 2y minus, oops, minus 6. And then that means y is equal to 2y plus 6, okay? So I can put that in here for z. So let's do it. So I got a 3 times a y plus 4 times 2y plus 6 equals 2. So 3y plus 8y plus 24 equals 2. So I got 11y here. I got 2 minus 24 over there. And I got y is equal to negative 2. There we go. Okay, there's my y. Now I can go back in here in any one of these equations and figure out what, uh, you know, z is. So Let's go z. That's going to be 2y plus 6, right? So I'll just go down here and say z is 2y, which is negative 4, plus 6. And so z is going to be 2. Okay, if z is 2, we can go over here and figure out what x is. Or we can just use the top one if you want. This is good enough. So we have this equation. I'll put it up here in the right. 2x plus 3y, that's the same thing as minus 6, equals negative 4. And then 2x is going to be over here. That'll be positive 2. And then x is going to be equal to 1. And there you go. So you take any two of the equations, get rid of a variable, and then plop it in the other one. All right, let's try another one. All right, pause and copy if you need to. And let's go to purple. Okay, I don't know. We can get rid of, I don't know. It seems like the x would be easier to get rid of in this situation here. So let's try it again, all right? We got a 2x here. We got a minus 3z. We got a negative 5. Okay. Now we can, you know, we can substitute if we want to and uh, get rid of that x. Uh, let's, no, we can't substitute yet. Let's go ahead and multiply this entire thing by 2 and get rid of the x. So that's going to be 2x, right? Then minus 4y, right? And then 2 times 6 is 12. Okay. So we will subtract this entire thing right here. So that goes away. Negative 3z minus negative 4y equals negative 5 minus 12 is negative 17. So that's our new equation. That has a z in it and it has a y in it. Well, this has a z in it and that has a y in it. So let's do this. So I got negative 2z for that one. And I got a positive 3y for that one and that equals negative 12, okay? So let's go ahead. We're gonna, we're gonna do the, the old multiplication trick here and eliminate here. So I got what, three times this part 
and then we'll do four times this part since that'll get rid of the y's for us. We could have also done three and two for the z's or whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Okay, well, I got three times negative three z is negative nine z, and that'll be 12 y, and then three times negative 17 is negative 51. Four times negative two z is negative eight z. Uh, four times three would be 12 y again, and four times negative 12 is negative three. Eight. Okay, so now we can go ahead and subtract right here. So we will subtract. Okay, negative 9 minus negative 8 is the same thing as negative 9 plus 8, which gives us negative z. All right, that goes away. Negative 51 minus a negative 48 is the same thing as negative 1 plus 48, which is minus 3, which means that z is equal to 3. If z is equal to 3, we can take either one of these equations with a z in it and figure out what y is. So let's do this through the top one here. I got 3y minus 2 times 3 equals negative 12. So 3y is equal to negative 12 plus 6, which is negative 6. So y is equal to negative 2. All right. And we can go up here and say x minus 2 times y, in other words, x plus 4 is equal to 6, which means x is also equal to 2. And there we go. Okay. All right. Let's try the practice problem and uh, pause it and we'll come back back. All right. I'm assuming you've paused it. Let's take a look at this. You can get rid of any uh, variables you want to. Uh, we could just say, why don't we just try to get rid of the, uh, I don't know, let's get rid of the, the z's since they're just sitting there like that. Uh, we can actually just run these up right against each other right here. And let's just do these two first to get rid of the z's. If we do that, we're going to have to subtract, right? So we have 2x minus 3y, and negative z minus negative z is nothing. So 9 minus 10 is negative 1. Okay, so that's our equation we're going to piddle with first. So 2x minus 3y equals negative 1. So here we go. 2x minus 3y equals negative 1. All right, uh, let's look at another equation. That has an x and a y, and there it is. We have a 3x plus a 2y equals 6. Okay, well, let's get rid we can, you know, either subtract, get rid of the x's or the y's, whatever. Let's just go ahead and do, um, I'll just multiply this by 3 and uh, multiply this by 2. And we'll get rid of both very quickly. All right, so we have 6x minus 9y equals negative 3. And we have 6x here uh, plus 2y equals, that's going to be 12. Okay, we'll subtract to get rid of the x's. And that goes away. Negative 9 minus neg uh, 4 is going to be negative 13y. Negative 3 minus 12 will be negative 15. And we'll have y is equal to 15 over 13. All right, good so far? Okay, all right, let's see what we do next. Okay, if we have y is equal to 15 thirteenths, we can go ahead and just plop this in any one of these equations with a y in it. Let's just do the top one. Where we have 3x plus 2y, 2 times y will be 30 over 13, and that's going to equal 6. And I'm going to rewrite this as something with a and, you know, uh, a 13 in a, in a denominator. So that's going to be 6 times 13 is 78. All right. So 3x equals 78 thirteenths minus 30 thirteenths will be 48 thirteenths. And if we divide by 3, that means the same thing as multiplying by 1 over 3. And 48 divided by 3 is 16. So x is going to be 16 over 13. Okay, now we can use e either one of these, y or the x, to figure out what z is, okay? So let's take, I don't know, 2x minus z equals 9. I'm going to write this in a different color so you can see it a little bit better here. So 2x, that means 2 times x, or 32 over 13, minus z. So 32 over 13, right, 2 times x, minus z is equal to 9, okay? 9 with a 13 in the denominator 13 times 9, 12 times 9 is 108. Another 9 will be 117. 
Okay, so we have a negative z is going to equal 85 over 13. So that means a positive z is going to be negative 85 over 13. Ah, what horrible numbers, man! I hope they don't do this to you every time. They shouldn't. Anyway, if you can get that one right, then you can get anything, any of this right. So anyway, all right. Have a good day. Hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time.